Hey, what's up everybody? The Off-Road Driver here again. Tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna be entering my Trailblazer into a truck show. We were at World of Wheels with a couple of our rigs from my group, Weekend Warriors. And Canadian Trucking Magazine had asked us to enter some of our rigs to show the off-roading side of trucks. So I decided to do something different and I'm going to do half clean, half dirty to show both sides. So today me and a couple buddies are out here in Selkirk, Manitoba and we're gonna go play in what we call the monkey trails. It's an area people like to go fishing on by the river here. And we had rain for a couple days, good downpours. So right now the trails are packed with mud and water. So it should get interesting. Hopefully I don't get stuck, but at least I have a winch just in case. And another buddy's got a big lifted Ford, so if I have to, I can just get uh, pulled out by him or winch off of him. Uh, the car show will be on, will be part of this video. So this is kind of a two day video on one. But uh, yeah, so hopefully we get nice and muddy and there'll be an update in a little bit. <laughs> This is what my truck looks like. Before I go too nuts, I get totally muddy. Walking through this mud here. As you can tell, this has been off-road a few times. Dents, dings, scratches, primer. But that's what it's built for. I need to go play in that.
I just attempted to make through this. I had to go backward and then crank it over to my left and go through the trees and do a multi-point turn just to get straight enough. You moved the tree! I do what I did. <laughs> Go that way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you're good. Stop! There's a stump right there. There's a huge stump underneath your front end right now. Yeah. <laughs> now you're in a hole. Yeah, you're climbing. There you go. Here's what I look like. Here's the passenger side. That's the side that's going to be clean. Back window's still clean. Here's what I'm getting to see. I go all the way up here just to try to see out the window. You can tell the difference though. On your side. Yeah, you can tell it. That's crazy. That shit actually works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because even if you put the floor on your fenders, you go into a scratch country like the way Yeah. It helps. Uh, it, it helps. Oh, right. Especially on those bushwhackers and those other ones that uh, those other day. Saint Anne's going down towards. Uh, yeah, so I hope that yeah. well, the, uh, waterproofing tent spray sure worked. Make it easier to clean off later. Taking home a bit of the bush. It's my socks that cover my lights. We have to have them covered here. Anything above the headlights. You notice that on the front as well. That bumper was ripped off a long time ago. I melted it after my tailpipe melted, it, got lifted up and melted out the reflector.
just it's too bad the sun wasn't right there without that tree even yeah, better yeah, no, I mean, be, be, be even be, be a better picture or to move everybody over to uh... oh yeah and I can see hmm. how does that come this side over here if you want it's a little steeper yeah it might because then I can get more straight on getting the truck ready covered up all the mud it's raining right now don't want it's not gonna wash off much but who knows how strong it'll get so protecting it while I wash this side mall crawler off-roader Well, we're out here at Assiniboine Downs, just uh, west of Winnipeg. Uh, a couple guys showed up. This really big, built-up Jeep here. Focus. Velocity. This guy's got everything and anything on it. King shocks. 5.9 the tires everybody might couple more rigs of ours that's next feet filthy clean trailblazer there you go 